Hey guys, this is Garis, and welcome back to another episode of Survival of Done. We're back here in Feed the Beast, and we have the Ender Dragon's Head above our door. So I hope you enjoyed the previous episode, or two, where we went and explored the Ender Bit and defeated a dragon, and went to check out the that Ender structure thingy. That is something new to added to... Vanilla, what's going on there? It's just me or did I do I not see this? So I just wanna see. Why am I not getting any of these tomato seeds? I tried to plant this. I wanted to start with um, automating the Lux cheeseburgers this episode because they would they seem to be quite nice so let's see if the worms does anything so I've planted them a while back already we are also made how might me no tomatoes three lettuce hmm Interesting. Seems tomatoes. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. But why do you go here? Priority one, and this I have set to priority fives. Let's make them higher. Okay, so it was just that. Grab a few more of these so that we can make more seeds. Okay, it seems that it's just a little derpiness on the farming side. Okay, let's see if we add more. Will that do anything? Let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so we're getting cabbage and tomatoes from here. We're getting wheat from here, sugarcane from there, potatoes from here, and inner poles from here. I think I need to scale down on the inner poles because that's way too much. <laughs> we're already getting way too much. Um, we are almost at limit. I actually made a couple of more irons. Oh, uh, not iron alloys. That's what I was going for. Alloys, and I think we can push a little bit more. Anyway, so um, unfortunately, I, I remember I told you we will start doing the dimensional transceiver. I accidentally got all the ingredients, and unfortunately, I crafted them before thinking. So this costs. Let me show you what it costs. I made three intentionally, so maybe we should make a fourth. Just in, maybe, maybe not. So it needs electrical steel. We've been making it a long time already. Maybe we should make a couple of those. I don't think about it. 160. Let's grab a couple of these because we need to cook them up. That'll make more slime. We can get coal. We can do a bunch of coal actually. Let's do a bunch of coal. Why not? And we need a stack of it for this one. And a stack of iron. So let's go down and manually start this up. Okay, so that is electrical steel if I'm not mistaken. So at least we'll get a stack more of that. Okay, and that's how you make electrical steel. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. A few scores is made with quartz, just dumped into here. So it will smelt it directly. This one grinds first, then it pushes in this box as you just saw the dust, and then it smelts it. 
<coughs> excuse me, and this one just smells it directly, so that would give make fused cords. I'm sorry for eating. And then the ender resonator. So enderman head with these in the slice and spice machine. Uh, Octactic capacitor, ender crystal again with cell vial of enderman and joined with a vibrant crystal. So we've made a couple of that in the past. So there's a vibrant. I have also have a couple of endermen still. So I went and captured a few so that we can use it. So I captured it over here. Nice. So this has been standing still. Um, enderman is over there. So we still need to do that conduit facade things. That's our um, cow farm. So we need to make another switch there. So let's grab more of these. How does that make redstone alloy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this, let's just grab a stack. Let's make this. And with this, we can do this. So we can have a couple of that. Let's make more of that. Okay, and then you drop this. I hope we're getting more electrical steel. Yep, <clears throat> it's increasing, so that's good. Okay, so now, oh, also, I've put up five vibrant pastor banks. I did not make a six, I need to make a six. And we have four combustion generators running rocket fuel, each making 240, so that's f 800. 960, yes, 960 power coming in, and it seems that everything is keeping up. We have creeper heads, we have a. Oh, is gunpowder running low? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well, let's let this run for a bit. So then, then I can show you guys also I'm crouching or pressing sneak so that we don't see or that the items doesn't go to us so it will either go to one of those items like this. See the it just went and XP goes there. So that's cool. It's awesome. The XP first comes into the storage tank and then goes into the experience obelisk once it's full it will start filling the fluid tank so that's what's happening there so we need to put another switch over here hmm, how are we going to do this so this is for that one how much space do we have one two two three four five one two so we have about space for two more so that's good so if we can put the other machine back there but in case let's make, let me show you quickly here so this will be the mining operation so we'll take away this one because we won't be using this one because it's only 80 rf per tick that it can send and in in its place we'll use a dimensional transceiver and we'll hmm, where will we put this? I want to say... Let's just put it right there. Let's still open that. Okay, good. So it needs a capacitor. We can use... The special one we found in that cave. Oh, in that chest in the end. Why not? Okay. Now it will get power. And now you can either send power items or fluid through this one thing. So, or you can just send manually, send items here if I have that correctly. Okay, but we're not going to send anything. So, I think. Uh, you give it a name, so 
we'll say main power mains mining mining power whoops okay and we add that oh wait 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 delete we have to say mining power and we have to lock this private channel and, and add it and we're sending power okay so in this one we have to say we're receiving power but it needs a capacitor to function first so now and on this one we say mining items it's a private and we add it and we're sending items so and then over here we can send items up into that and we don't need any of the um, ender chests because we can just use the tra dimensional transceiver so once we set up another mining operation I'll show you guys how that works I just want to clear it because it doesn't matter we didn't send any power to it yet why don't you want to take this there we go okay so and the, this chase is still feeding the normal sterling generators which will provide power to this mainly this will be the first priority and again we said priority no unfortunately not okay so we will only insert power into this one this one inserts over there and it extracts from a top so if we want we can actually limit the output thousand let's limit it so it will only um, provide thousand or uh, micro infinity per tick to this system as well so that means it w um, this system won't grab all of the power and this power will supply our, our base okay so that is a dimensional transceiver not really fully explained I'm sorry about that is this full oh, it's full oh, can you believe it um, so this can go somewhere okay this is RF or extra utilities let's put it by extra utilities so unfortunately we won't be using that anymore uh, while we're not in a running around let's put that over there okay so what we'll need for the mob or the automated mob farm thingy um, can actually put that into here as well what are we going to throw out? Eh, just a scoop, why not a scoop? I found that you have a trash can over here. Two bees, uh, beehives, uh, we can throw that away. Then we have... Oh, already replaced, great. No, wrong one, this one, put away this, I don't know where to go with that. As soon as we have space we'll do that. Okay, we want to paint stone. Let's see if it remembers the recipe. No, not the charger, painter. Nope, it does not remember the recipe. Oh, I was so fully dead. Uh, painter, please. No, painter. Paint those machines. Okay. Nope, we want to go up, sorry. Okay, the first thing we're going to need for that is this machine. So, we are going to need a mob crusher. This will give us the meat and also the leather. So, this is a good source of leather as well. So, this will give us the meat from um, industrial foregoing. I hate this. 
Okay, so Mob Crusher will give us items. The next item is a rancher. This will milk cows for us. So unfortunately, we'll have to put this on the outside by th those cows because we're not hurting those cows. Oh, it's poor butterfly. Oh well. Go away, butterfly. You're going to get hurt here. Um, okay. Why do I have extra redstone? Hmm, doesn't matter. I turned some of the redstone into glowstone. Because I needed that for the energetic alloy. Okay. So, animal rancher. So, I've already... St um, too many mobs. Oh, no. Don't tell me the... This usually happens when the why don't you work? Always let's just say always active. Why aren't you getting nutrient distillation? Oh yeah, I want to still have this bucket of nutrient distillation that I need to get rid of. But I don't think it's this. Nope. Come on, Killer Joe, why don't you kill the zombies and stuff? Oh, you're not outputting. I think I disabled output extracts. Yeah, I, I don't think I can add it. Nope. I don't know what to do. This is a bucket I tried to use on um, on the telepad of Ender IO, which didn't turn out to work. So, eh. Okay, so Animal Ranch, let's put a Mob Crusher because this is going to be the most complicated one. And we'll see how it Time goes. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so let's put you here. You know what? Mob crushes is actually or in their IO. And once again, I have to say this is just awesome. Okay, let's take it this way. Okay, first of all, you need power, right? Yes, you need power. And you're going to get items. I don't care about any fluid essence. Um, can you do anything with essence? No, you only take pink slime. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to use essence now. Might in the future. But, so you already have that. We're not using fluid, we're using that. Okay, so you connect it to that. Um, let's give you the items that you need. Why isn't the redstone connecting? Active on redstone signal. Why isn't aren't you doing anything with a signal? Okay, outputs. Okay, let's make it brown for cows. Brown. There's brown. We're not taking input. Okay, now we are going to change up this completely. Okay, you are... On what are you set? I can't remember. Why aren't we doing anything with you okay output signal green is fine because we need no oh it will be a separate system so it's fine so brown for beef green for just on or off strong signal yes and this one will be a pink signal Let's make it 
so that we can also handle no, not there this one so it's output it's a strong signal and magenta that's pink right okay let's see are you coming over here okay now we have three switches that we need to handle right you agree with me so let's do this okay i think the redstone conduit we're going to destroy i'll show you why i'm doing it this way because we can either switch on the spawner on or off switch on the mob killer on or off or the fluid collector on or off so we can either combine these two or these two at a time so we can not combine all three at a time so there's no way to maybe there is but not that i'm aware of at this moment that i can combine these two with a single switch or these two i can maybe with gate but i'm not going to go that complicated so the only thing we're going to do is this and then we're going to need that convert facade okay now this is where we can this facade shine okay so we're going to place you there there and there okay if you have a conduit in your hand you can see it if not you can't see it but now we can have the levers on top of it if we add the lever just straight on the conduit it falls off so that was not fun just want to make more a few more levers I actually have cobblestone but it's okay three i'm just having extra on hand that's all okay so the middle one will be that one the top one will be right one the bottom one will be the left one okay i think we should do it that way and get the redstone going connecting like that okay great okay we'll fill in that with stone at a later stage uh, let's get the yellow range okay because now we can go through the through the glass we can choose okay this one inputs on brown where's brown 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 did i pass it already no there it is this one no no this is green sorry my bad that one is brown and this one is pink There's actual pink, so let's make it pink. There's pink. Okay, great. So now these are all connected. Oh wait, we need to get power here still. There we go. Okay, let me quickly go grab some um, stone and let me quickly clean up this room. I also want to, while I'm at it, clean up this room because the Enderman keeps stealing my dirt. So I'll be right back. Okay, I grabbed two stacks of stone and I only finished that room. So I'm gonna leave this room for <laughs> next time. So this is where exchangers will actually come in mighty handy. Um, what else do we need? Do we need to put the glass back? And let's see. So that's that one, that's that one, that's the left one. So we can actually connect you to pink as well. Doesn't matter because you're not doing anything. Okay, so you are going to export your items. Ooh, did I select that? Ooh, I hope so. Let's see, I think I have a bottom axis here. So I don't want to break all my pretty stone that I just put up okay let's see extract always active okay and I think you have inner conduits running yep looks like it okay we'll see what which items is not connected then it's then we'll sort it out 
and okay rancher let's put the rancher down so that will handle the animal walking okay we need a few more fences unfortunately because otherwise the cows is going to escape and we don't want them to escape we want to mold them Okay, so this is middle, this is where I have a flood conduit, item conduit and power, so I think we covered with everything. Sorry, the gun is a bit loud. Okay, let's see, can we put you there? Yes, we can. Okay, so you will to milk um, let's give it power so long and see what it does oh yes it's range I've got range upgrades and I do believe the other one's range is also not very good okay so range add-ons I believe I test it with either iron whoops Iron or tin. Let's go with. Wait, let's quickly see which one is in the one that's currently in. It's a Tier 2, let's say show range, let's just quickly see how long, how far that is, otherwise we can, might as well go a bit bigger, ah oh, that's perfect, that's a perfect range, oh we must go up, and I think the rancher must be the next tier, so one iron and one tin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then is the top one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, what's the rest of the recipe? Is plastic and glass. Luckily, we have a few panes left. Plastic, I started doing over here. Okay, so what, guys? We're going to run out of time again. I want to grab all stack, but now well, seems like we can't side how much do we need two so we need four in total where is that okay so one two three four right cook them up we might as well cook up everything Rubber should be somewhere around here. Let's find out which one smelted that. There we go. Make it tier two, please. Tier two. And a tier six. There we go. So two goes in down here. Two, two and Rancher gets a three. There we go. That's much better. Let's see, what can we grab? Flood is mold, that's all we need. That's all we want, so... Let me quickly sleep through the night and see what I can do a bit off cam and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so the next item of business is getting that milk. Of that rancher, let's just switch off that 
rangefinder. Because otherwise that's going to render unnecessary things all the time. I wonder how is our... It's... Oh, our gunpowder is not doing as great. Oh, these extra chests is the ones that stood downstairs that I brought in getting producing ender lilies. So we have no more chests down there. Hmm, what are we gonna do? We need to get different things for that. Maybe a drawer might be good. Uh, mob drops, yes. Let's make this whole plate thing just mob drops. Well, it is kind of for mob drops. Oh, and Thorncraft. Well, this is a mod wall so far, so we can just move everything from Thorncraft to there. So that might be interesting. Okay, so back to a point. We need to get that milk into a bucket. So the only th way that I could find is either, either a bottler. Okay, this is an animal rancher that makes milk. Actually, you can have it already put the buckets of milk in, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go see. You can give it a bucket and it actually out. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, we're going to definitely going to do that. We're going to let that. get the buckets for us because I was thinking of using a fluid transposer so we in the base we will have two chests just normal iron chests let's take it down here nope one more down over here okay let's use this corner of course it's closest to the pipes you can bring over the pipes and stuff Oh, my game is very laggy for some reason. Might be that mob farming. And we need... No, we don't, then we don't need to bring in fluids. I've ran fluids up from inside here. So let's see. What's making it lag so much? Might be that rendering. Okay, let's switch off. Hide area. Let's hide this area. Okay, now we're good. Oh, I want to show you this. I put a piping all the way over there. But we're not going to use a pipe, the fluid conduit. We're going to send the empty buckets back there and then bring it down here. Okay, so we're going to have a iron chest. Should still have one, yes. Let's get basic filters. Two basic filters should be good. Okay. Um, maybe. I don't think we're going to need power, but in case we do, it's there. Okay, so we're going to give you a insert item. and an extract item from here okay so we extract only empty buckets to whatever needs it let's use this as a white extract white so that we don't white for milk i don't think we're using white yet Okay, we need a few more basic. Okay. Okay, so 
going to give you item if we're going to give you item item so you insert an empty bucket only okay let's just quickly fill this bucket of milk and you're going to extract a bucket of milk that's the only thing you are allowed to do so insert and that's it okay oh we need to choose white white channel because that's the only thing you'll handle in any case so it's fine so you'll only handle milk for us okay now we're going back here see this actually makes it so that it's basically a separate line altogether okay and you insert on white bucket of milk and that's the only thing you are allowed so now if I'm not mistaken we dump in buckets there one will go out and voila <laughs> that's awesome okay so then we're going to set up crafters um, crafter oops Okay, so we can take that away, that away, that away, and that away. Okay, but this we'll do in this next episode. We'll do the automation of the resources and the produce in the next episode. Because for now, we've automated milk. That is awesome. That is super awesome. And it's almost time to go sleeping. So I'm going to call it here, guys. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope I showed you some interesting routing methods and getting milk easy. So let me show you what the point is of that deluxe cheeseburger. We want to make this. So it only gives five food, but it gives 12 saturation, which is awesome. Look at the deluxe chicken curry. That gives 10 food and 23 saturation. Maybe, maybe in a future episode but this one it uses a lettuce and tomato that we're already harvesting in our farm so that's good so now we only need to make cheese get cheese automated so that uses milk so we'll use this in a in a crafter <coughs> and craft this recipe so then we also need to get salt which is just a water bucket and a pot so that we will also do in an episode i'm not sure how do we can get water maybe we still need to make a fluid transposer well at least now we only need to make one and not two and we're running way over time again on this episode sorry about that but yes please give me a like if you enjoyed this episode guys and please subscribe to my channel and yeah hit that bell icon and youtube will notify once i've uploaded another episode but i will see you guys in the next one cheers